lose moisture until they get to the top and they slough off. The way this one falls off is when a new one is produced and it pushes it out of the way. Imagine this like a grape and then it moves up to become like a raisin and it shrivels up and all the moisture goes away. Well, the moisture that comes out of this comes in here, it comes between. You know how a brick wall, there's bricks, and then in between there's the cement holding the bricks together? Well, whatever moisture was in here comes out and it becomes something called intercellular glue. Inner cell, in the cell, intercellular glue. So as a new one is born, this one exfoliates. So when you have older skin, this cycle is quick on somebody young, but as they get older, it slows down. So let's just say it's a 28-day cycle, maybe on an um, 18-year-old girl or an 18-year-old. That means that that dead skin cell is going to sit there for longer. So when you see that skin, the aging skin, it looks dry and dehydrated and flaky and doesn't look so supple. But if you look at a baby's skin, it looks healthy and supple. That's because their process, instead of it being an 18-day, it could be a 25-day cycle. And so it, it, the turnaround is quick, so the, what you're seeing is healthier skin. So older skin, you're going to see these dead skin cells. We want to hurry it off. We want to cause trauma to the skin. We want to scratch and abrade the skin. So the body says, oh my gosh, trauma happened. Let me put another fresh new cell there. Back to that and make a new cell. When it makes a new cell, the illusion is a healthier, plumper cell rather than the dead skin cells that you were seeing earlier. So then the skin looks better. That's one thing. The other thing is, too, that Remember, we have our pores. And those dead skin cells not only sit here, but they also line the inside of our pores. Dead skin cells are everywhere in our skin. And this is skin. Also, this is the lining of our skin. So, if I have a lot of dead skin cells here, and I buy a $100 cream from Nordstrom to put on my skin, they that we're going to exfoliate anyway. Maybe tomorrow they would have come off, or the next day they would have come off anyway. So, so I, I'm not benefiting myself unless I exfoliate. When I exfoliate, then I open the door for product to penetrate in my skin better. And so that's what this is all about. That's why we're exfoliating. So there's chemical exfoliants and physical exfoliants. The Trish is going to do both. First, she's going to do a physical one, which is the microdermabrasion. So she's going to scrape it off without use of chemicals with the texture of the diamond head. And then she's going to use a chemical peel. So remember the intercellular glue that was inside? The one that when the, the cell is plumb and it starts to dry out, that sticky stuff comes in? Well, she's going to use a glycolic acid, a chemical on me to exfoliate as well. And what that's going to do is it's going to dissolve the intercellular glue that's holding the lower cells together. So the microdermabrasion is going to work topically, and then she's going to put the glycolic and it's going to penetrate in a little bit deeper, and it's going to get rid of the glue that's holding those brick walls, those cells together, and allow them to slough off faster. So she's going to do both exfoliants, a physical first to clear out the way, to make the chemical penetrate better into the skin and be more effective. In between like two to three weeks after you do a session, especially if you're going to do the peel, otherwise your skin might get too raw. So you have to think about who you're working on too. I, I often yeah. peel. I, I'm not new to peeling. and I wouldn't recommend doing microdermabrasion and a peel because it might be too much for them. Mm -hmm. You know, they might be neurotic. Some people are really sensitive. This is good just to get the makeup on before I wash the face. Or something specific you're trying right. to treat? Then you can get them to once a week uh, treatments. The microdermabrasion would not be good for somebody with broke breakouts delicate, red, irritated, uh, broken out skin, a chemical exfoliant would be better for them.
So what are you putting on her face? Just Dermalogica to cleanse her. I got the makeup off first. Do you have microdermabrasion at home? No, I think I've only done it maybe twice in my life. I usually do the chemical peels. I don't have the machine. Does that hurt? No. No, it feels Does sort it of work? like a no, like a cat licking your skin. You know, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit like sandpaper, but uh -huh. not too bad. I think the peel probably yeah would bother you more. It has some burning sensations sometimes. Would you say your skin is normal? Dry. Dry. Do you have any oiliness around your nose? No, not really. You do have really small pores. Thank you. <laughs> Which is a good thing to have. <laughs> okay, do this. I'm not going to do the prep. You can do the prep if you're just doing microdermabrasion. It's mostly just alcohol. But I figured since I'm doing the glycolic, that might stick too much. The more pressure you use, the more suction you get. How does that feel? Good. Very gentle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Then you go. Then you go in the other direction. So like, like a, a donut. donut. So are your attachments different roughnesses? I okay, might be a little different, but I think mostly they're just. So when the skin gets pink, then you can tell it's working. And what happens if you go over the same area too much? Well, it might get irritated, but more cold. You you should uh, just keep moving. You don't stay over one area too long. I'm not going to do the eye area, but if you were to do the eye area, you have to turn the vacuum off stretched out. Because if you have that yeah. little peach fuzz on the side of your face. Yeah, well, I'm trying not to have the beard. <laughs> but some people just have that normally. Yeah. When they're young. Yeah. Well, this is microdermabrasion. There's also something called dermaplane, oh. straight razor. Yeah. yeah. Well, they exfoliate with the straight the razor. razor as well, yeah. called dermaplaning. I had that. Wouldn't that be like the same thing as kind of like dancing or like. No, that's. Well, is it illegal? Yeah. It is yeah, because we're not trained to do it. Okay. But, I mean, that is a procedure that. I'm sorry. But that's shaving your face, really. It's shaving your dead skin cells off.
You can do the neck and chest too. <coughs> Some places charge 125. Just for the microdermal version? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you do that out all, all, all ages? Mm -hmm. Alan? Pardon? At all ages, can you do microdermal? Uh, you know, I've heard that it can work if your acne isn't too severe. Mm -hmm. You could do it on teenagers. And then there might be a point when you get older. I don't know if you do it on somebody in their 80s. You have to ask the doctor. Because mm -hmm. your skin is thinner then mm -hmm. when you get older. I wonder what's the oldest age that you get surgery, like plastic surgery. I'm curious. You don't want to yeah. avoid the sun spot all this time. That's part of the healing process too. It's going to rush even pigmented cells to that area. And so that dark spot could end up even I'm being darker, darker be, if I'm exposed to the sun. So you just want to avoid the sun when you're doing these kinds of things. And sometimes when you're doing glycolic, it can bring the sun spots up to the surface that are underneath that you didn't see before. And then after you do it a couple of times, it can go on. Mm -hmm. You have to be consistent. Remember we talked about the laser hair removal too, or waxing and mm -hmm. trying to get it. If you're consistent, you are more like have a better chance. Result. Yeah. yeah. Even though it goes in this, yeah. it's just better to have the eyes shut. You know, you, have, you clean out that vacuum, so it lasts a long time. But there's a filter, right? Yeah, it's Trish? a filter. And it so lasts about six months, oh, and then you get another. Cells in the so filter. you don't have to clean it out after each. No, no, right. sucking it up. Uh, it's vacuum. Allergies. <laughs> Do you remember with the dermatological class they tell you how many dead skin cells are shed a day? It's a lot. Sometimes it's telling me it's thousands. Yeah, constant volume. Yeah, but I've seen some people. Well, with the crystals, maybe. Yeah, maybe it's the crystals. What they want to be more Just a regular facial or scrubbing. But the skin color is very important. If I am turning pink, she's going to follow something called a less rule. Less product, less pressure, less, less time. So it's four lesses. Anyway, it's just you have to consider that. Look at the skin. If it's getting pink, then in this it's supposed to get pink. With it, you know, if it's not pink at all, then it's not working. But you still want to So Now I'm just going to neutralize. Let that dry, and then I'll apply what is that? Color. It's just a toner. And how long do you, what kind of glycolic is it? What brand or who you? Skin Laboratory. Skin Labs. And do you leave it on? Do you tone it? Neutralize it? What do you do with this one? I leave it on and then I have a neutralizer mm -hmm. and then I wash it off with cold water. So I don't know how this is going to feel to you after your microdermal bridge. I don't know. But it's <laughs> glycolic is an acid. The new neutralizer uh, has to be, be seven or more. Uh, yeah, it has to be alkaline. Yes, to balance. And do layers too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean put it on, let it dry, put another layer on. Myself, I could only tolerate not quite a minute. I 
I can tolerate lactic better, but this just burns the heck out of my skin. So remember that, yeah, this <laughs> goes to the intercellular glute, mm -hmm. right? It penetrates and it shoots down, okay. which means nerve endings are deeper in the skin too. That's why it's going to hurt more. Mm -hmm. There's another kind of acid called lactic acid, and that one doesn't penetrate. It doesn't go on the intercellular glue. It just sits on the surface. So it doesn't hurt as much because the nerve endings are not at the tip, at the end of your skin. Mm -hmm. And that one is good for somebody with bro breakouts. Remember, you wouldn't do the microdermabrasion with somebody with a breakout, but you could do the lactic acid because it doesn't irritate the skin mm -hmm. as much as glycol. My does. daughter can tolerate the lactic. She has sensitive skin and she has a lot of pimples, and it helps her. It is called lactic acid. Lactic. And you could get four men, one for this side, one for that side, so it's even. If I just did one, then I'd have a little bit left on that side. It feels like a um, little prickly, yeah. Like it normally ants. feels prickly, too, <laughs> though. Like Ooh, an ants. Ants. And you can have a, a fan. Some people have a little fan. Because I hit you. No, that's good. She's fan. Yeah. It's just good. Well, you know what it feels like? If you cut, cut yourself an alcohol or lemon juice or something goes on, that's what it feels like. You had a fire ant like, bite you? <laughs> fire ants, you know those ants that bite you? That's how it I want to get the little wine. Mm -hmm. I don't have one. Oh, yes, I do. And you don't want to get on the lips. You can also... Did you put... Um, I didn't put Vaseline on. But that's another thing if you're... I never did. I never did. I never did. I've never had my neck done. My hair is coming out in the sun. Yeah. It feels good. It feels like it's doing. I do glycolics all the time, 30% at home. And what? I never feel so it like this, yeah. Every, uh, every what? How many days? No, like 35. I do a lot Can of you count to 30? Like one Mississippi, two Mississippi? And then tell me. Like twice a week? No, no. Like no. the glycolic, maybe four times a year? Jasmine. But there's others. There's all kinds. There's one called Fusion that I did to my face. And it didn't turn red, but it gave it a nice glow. And then after about a week, I got a little bit of peeling. That's for collagen stimulation, too. They, they burned my face in like the whole thing. Oh, that was probably a really strong one. Maybe it was Jessner yeah. or TCA. Yeah, because I shaved and the next day. Yeah, then part. that'll peel. Oh. Uh, it's about a, a week or so. You did that on purpose. Is it 30? Yeah. Okay, now it's been 30 seconds. Do you want to go for a minute? Yeah. It's not bothering you. No, no, it's good. It okay, can you down. Yeah, now it's fine. So when you do this, and if I stop, if I don't do it again, the dead skin cells are going to build up again. So mm -hmm. when you get older, it's something that you that kind of have to keep up. Yeah. After this procedure, can you put any less? Mm. You could put a moisturizing mask. But no yeah. mask. It depends on the mask. Yeah, what type of medicated mask. No, so usually they, they don't. don't. They would just put a, so moisturizer. Maybe the next day. I heard some relief. It's not really stopping the burning, but it's it's not like burning it hurt as much. Yeah. Yeah. And it comes down. Mm -hmm. yeah. The fusion peel that I use has three different, different penicillin. I don't feel it anymore. So if it stops burning, is it still is it working? Still? Yeah, it's still effective. Yeah. You're gonna water it off and then neutralize well, I'm it. I'm gonna neutralize it and then rinse it. It's a scale from one to five, I believe. And it, depending on the color of the skin and where they're from, their nationality, mm -hmm. you place them on a scale. So, for example, somebody from Sweden or um, Ireland or Iceland, maybe Germany, Germany light, very fair skin would be maybe a, a level one on the Fitzpatrick scale. And as the skin gets darker, it goes up on the scale. So some manufacturers, what they do is they have like different peels, and they'll say this peel is good for a Fitzpatrick one and two, and this peel is good for a Fitzpatrick three and four or whatever. So they've already labeled it for you, and all you have to do is when a client comes to you for the first time, you just place them on whichever level you think they belong on, and that kind of helps you analyze the skin.
Is that the neutralizer? No, it's some water. Oh, okay. Because I felt, I felt that, yeah. Oh, I feel like it's a Itching? No. Tingling? No. Tingling? Uh, no. no. Maybe it just appeals. You don't feel anything anymore anymore? Uh, nope. Sometimes it takes a couple, couple of minutes. No, you got rid of it. I don't think you have something in I felt when we put the water, it started to tingle again, um, and then it stopped. Now I'm going to use the hyaluronic acid serum. This is what you have in your body naturally, and a lot of products have this in there now because it holds the moisture. This works on anybody. What is it called? Hyaluronic. Maybe I'm not seeing it. It's a serum. And it used to be fairly expensive, but now it's coming down in price. Some people use this every night before they put their moisturizer what, the on. The hyaluronic so, acid. You put it on, let it dry, and then put your moisturizer on, and then it, it keeps the moisture in. You know, I've never tried it. It's very good for the skin. A lot of products have it in it. Even if you have oily mm -hmm. skin, and it, yeah, it wouldn't that be good? Okay. Doesn't matter. Because even if you have oily skin, you still need moisture. It could be dehydrated. Yeah. I discovered Target has a really good section of organic and natural. Oh. I was thrilled because it's less expensive than Whole Foods. Same stuff. Oh. And what to look for if you look at active, turn around and look at active ingredients. All you need is zinc oxide or... You've seen the guys, uh, football players I think, or who does that? White? Yeah. Maybe uh, surfers? Yeah. Surfers. Yeah. Thank you. Volleyball they, players. Uh-huh, volleyball players. That's pure zinc it. oxide. It's good. It's tight. Yeah, it's so tight. Yeah, this is a really nice product. It's a leave-in mask. Oh. Rose water? I don't mm. think there's rose water in it. It has a lot of botanical ingredients. Mm. Now I'm ready to put the sunscreen on. This will make it look white and then it goes away. She's a cleaning, good just cleaning up here. <laughs> right. Okay, so that's that's it then. That's it. it feels so good. You were.